got a lot of money sitting here. Uh, these are we're in our basement where we're going to install the batteries and the got uh, you can see the boxes right there. You can see the lithium lithium ion batteries uh, right there. But yeah, it's going to go on this wall right here. Um, yeah. So next video you'll see this will be all installed. Solar is hooked up. You can see the size of it. Uh, pretty cool. Okay, my uh, glasses are a little uh, fogged. I just came in from outside, but uh, this is our uh, Generac, the power wall. It's installed. We've got our panels outside. You probably saw some uh, video of that already. A uh, pretty simple s system. Our house is about 1,500 square feet. Uh, right now, this is installed in the basement. And then uh, we have, we heat with wood. Um, we do that now. We do have a we we have a propane tank, a thousand gallon propane tank for the uh, the furnace, in case uh, you know we run out of wood or we're not home for an extended amount of time. Uh, we I'm trying to think what else. Right now, our system is powering the whole house. Uh, we have two full size refrigerators, three freezers. We do have a freeze dryer. Um, and we, we don't run everything all at the same time, obviously, but uh, we've noticed the big energy uh, suckers, I guess you want to call them, uh, when the refrigerators kick on, if two of them kick on at the same time, well, it's uh, noticeable in the power wall and our uh, well pump. Uh, but right now, we get, it's in the winter right now, we've been getting uh, full battery charges, which is surprising. I mean, it's November, but I mean we're we're getting full battery charges, and then uh, we are also um, we've got it set up where it's we we have to be on the grid. It was in our state, so we've got solar panel, battery, and then grid. So if our batteries, this battery behind me, drops under thirty percent, it will pull from the grid. Uh, so far, we haven't hit under that, even in. Uh, this time of the year uh, we've got down to like 31 percent one day um, you can play around with that too and adjust it that just leaves you a little bit I've been told so like say you use everything and then you're, you're down to 30 percent and then the next day there's no sun so at least you know it gives and then the power cuts out completely on the grid you got you got a little bit you know to, to run some stuff um, so I mean it sustains us for you know we probably got enough for like a day power with this um if we were with no sunlight whatsoever uh if we were to just go down to the basics and just have our well and our freezers and refrigerators we probably go a couple days like right now i mean we have two big screen tvs our computers, not even big screen TVs, you know, just like 40 inch, 50 inch. We have one in the living room, 50 inch, and then in the bedroom we have a 40 inch. And then we have, uh, my wife works remote, so we have the internet running all the time. Uh, she's got a computer. I work remote, um, so I've got my computer in my office too. Um, but yeah, we haven't really had any issues uh, running out of power. So, but I mean, if you... It'll be interesting to see in the summertime with the air conditioning. Uh, that we haven't. Right now we do run the furnace with the wood stove, but we don't run, we run the furnace fan with the wood stove. So, um, but yeah.